the entire Younger Dryas, say 1,200 years. Yes. Cold, wet, algal mat. Okay, this is a great one. That is not in Arizona or New Mexico or out west. That is in Lommel, Belgium. That's the other side of the pond. You go back 13,000 years, you look at the soil, and there's a black mat. So yeah, we know that. No shit, man. These are a black mat that show there wasn't one for thousands of years afterwards, mm -hmm. and there wasn't one for thousands of years before, and they all show up at the same place at dozens and, and dozens of sites since the archaeological sites had existing sites long studied some of the most famous ones called blackwater draw first discovered the clovis people people who made this beautiful spear point okay now that's, you find that that's a re reproduction okay that's plastic <laughs> i wish i would this is actually i think one of the most beautiful ones in the world so they made the reproduction from that so the Clovis points came from the Clovis people. So these are the people that we've long heard about that came over the Siberian ice land bridge, came down through the gap between the two glaciers at the time. And they tell us also that that hunting tribe with these spear points killed over 200 species of mammals and drove them completely extinct in an orgy of hunting for a couple of years. They're still sticking to that theory? <laughs> Absolutely. And wow. that is the weakest part of the entire mainstream gang. Mm. But no one had ever gone and tested with microscopy and with geochemical tools the constituents of the black mat and immediately below it particularly that these same lines of evidence were used to prove the dinosaurs were wiped out by a comet.